Welcome to another edition of Great Health, Fun, and Happiness, and Outrageous Love. Living like locals in the Hamptons, our series here. We're, I've got to go in this way. Tell me if you see the dolphins because they keep jumping up. It's like SeaWorld. Every time I try to video, they go back under. So let us know if you see them. We're going to talk about uh, this is going out to all the dog lovers, right? Absolutely. So we were walking home from the beach where we saw a lady that we've seen on the beach maybe a handful of times with her two dogs, um, Ginger and Rocky, and a couple of other people that we've seen on the beach. And we didn't even know her name. We know the dog's names because we've seen them a handful of times. As we're leaving the beach, um, we were probably, I don't know, maybe eight minutes down the road, we see a slew of emergency vehicles. And then we see a car that has spun out facing the wrong way in a ditch. And as we're getting closer, I said to Jeffrey, I couldn't see the person. I said, the person is waiting to us. And there were a lot of people in the street because it had just happened so many emergency vehicles. But I really felt like she was waving at us. Yeah, I, yeah. I said to Karen, it's like, I don't, I don't think so. I mean, we really don't know that many people out here. Right. Yeah, and we but, didn't recognize the car. Yeah, right. and, and we we don't know many people out here. So anyway, then as we got closer, she waved with the other hand and was like, you know, waving and then like, you know, come here, come here. And I didn't want us to go over there because there were so many emergency vehicles. There was fire trucks. They had to open the car with the jaws of life. We don't want to be those people. It's like, you know, people get in the way, you know, with all these gawkers and all this right. stuff. But we didn't want to, you know, I, I did see your wave, and so we did try to figure out who it was. Right. Anyway. So we stayed long enough to be able to see in there, and I did see one dog in there. And I knew that the person that I thought it might have been after I saw the one dog had two. So I asked one of the EMTs, are there, how many dogs are in this car? And they told me two. And I said, okay. Then she was waving us over. Anyway, they took her away on a stretcher and put her in an ambulance and she asked if we would take her dogs, which absolutely we would and we did and we were honored to be able to help. But where in the world, tell me, can you ask two strangers that you don't even know their names or where they live, um, that you've met maybe five times on the beach, petting your dog, that they'll take your dogs as you're being wheeled off in the ambulance? Now she didn't have her cell phone, so she couldn't call her daughter or call anybody. So we were right there. Now they were probably not exaggerating, 15 maybe emergency vehicles. At least. Yeah, fire trucks, police cars, and all the volunteer guys. Right. I've never seen so many emergency yeah. vehicles. Yeah, so there's a lot lot going on there. So anyway, we were happy to take the dogs as Karen said. But yeah, just kind of reflecting on it, we got the dogs back to the owner. She's fine by the way. And the, the dogs were a pleasure to have and a pleasure to take care of them. But it is pretty amazing. I wouldn't think out here that would happen. But um, just feel like we were blessed kind of walking along. We were supposed to be there. We were kind of racing home to get to a hot yoga class. It's like, you know, we had that and a few business calls to make, but we obviously cleared the decks and right. took care of the dogs. We're happy to do that. I think the universe put us at that exact spot at that exact time so that we could do that for her and in turn for those of you who don't know we lost our little sugar baby 17 year old blind uh, dog that we had with us and has traveled the world with us and she passed away not too long ago so i believe that it was a, a you know symbiotic happening in that you know we needed a little puppy love too and we definitely got that from her two dogs because they were just so sweet to have today. But again, tell me where in the world if you were being carted off somewhere and you had your two dogs in the car that you would just entrust them to a stranger or a stranger walking by. And I, I guess the feeling that she knew that we were dog lovers because we'd met on the beach and had her dog and she had met our sugar baby um, a couple of times that we were on the beach yeah, as well. I'm sure that's where it was. And yeah. you know, we do some of this back home. If you guys have seen our videos, we're at Summit Pet Rescue. Summit County Pet Rescue. Summit uh, Lost Pet uh, Rescue. Yeah, yeah, so. Uh, we're part of that back home in Colorado. Um, it's an amazing organization. And we have saved, you know, hundreds of pets that have been lost that we have helped find. And so this was an extension of that. I felt like here. it's like Summit Lost Pet Rescue hitting getting out here in the Hamptons, right. but 
So it's kind of cool. But anyway, just thought we'd share the story. It's just another part of living out here. For this short period of time, we're getting a flavor for the area and the people. And uh, we're finding, we're meeting a lot of nice people, a lot of nice dogs too. A lot of the locals that we've met have been just so down to earth, so kind, and big dog lovers like us. So, you know, that's a two thumbs up here. All Wishing right. you great health, abundant happiness, and outrageous love from East Hampton.